Hare Krishna everyone, I'm recording this episode for the third time today and I'm very very sorry. It's just that I was reading a, a like a five minute episode for 15 minutes just because it was very emotional for me and I really don't like to show the side of me um, like to the public audience because I believe in uh, being reserved, let's just say. So, are you ready for this? <laughs> All right. So this is Teachings of Lord Chaitanya by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, chapter number four. And we are Shravanam Diaries Podcast. I'm your host, Sulalita Devi Dasi. Hmm. Actually, every living entity is destined, destined to understand his relationship with the Supreme Lord and ultimately to reach him. The execution of duties to attain this perfection is known as devotional service and in maturity such devotional service becomes love of God, the true goal of life for every living being. The living entity should not desire success in religious rituals, economic development or sense enjoyment or even liberation. One should desire only to achieve this stage of transcendental, loving service to the Lord, pure Krishna consciousness. The all attractive features of Lord Krishna help one attain the stage of pure devotional service and one who engages in the preliminary practices of Krishna consciousness can ultimately realize the relationship between himself and Krishna. In this connection, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu related a story from Srila Madhavacharya's commentary on the fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 5.5, 10 to 13. The story involves the instructions of an astrologer, Sarvagya, to a poor man who came to him to have his future told. When the astrologer saw the man's horoscope, he was astonished that the man was so poor. And he asked him, he said to him, Why are you so unhappy? From your horoscope, I can see that you have a hidden treasure left to you by your father. However, the horoscope indicates that your father could not disclose this to you because he died in a foreign place. But now you can search out this treasure and be happy. The story is cited because the living entity is suffering due to his ignorance of the hidden treasure of his supreme father, Krishna. That treasure is love of Godhead. And in every Vedic scripture, the conditioned soul is advised to find it. As stated in the Bhagavad Gita, although the conditioned soul is the son of the wealthiest personality, the personality of Godhead, he does not realize it. Do you realize it? I haven't realized it yet, but I'm in the process. Therefore, the Vedic literature is given to him to help him search out his father and his paternal property. The astrologer further advised the poor man don't dig on the southern side of your house to find the treasure. For if you do so, you will be attacked by a poisonous wasp and will be baffled in your efforts to find the treasure. Search on the eastern side where there is actual light, which is devotional service or Krishna consciousness. On the southern side, there are Vedic rituals. On the western side, there is mental speculation. On the northern side, there is meditational yoga. The astrologer's advice should be carefully noted by everyone. If one searches for the ultimate goal by the Vedic ritualistic process, 
he will surely be baffled. Such a process involves the performance of rituals under the guidance of a priest who takes money in exchange for service. A man may think he will be happy by performing such rituals, but this is not true. Even if he does gain some result from them, it is only temporary. His material distress will continue, so he will never become truly happy by following the ritualistic process. Instead, his materialistic pangs will increase more and more. The same may be said for digging on the northern side or searching for the treasure of love of Godhead by means of the meditational yoga process. The perfection of this process is to think oneself one with the Supreme Lord, but this merging into the Supreme is like being swallowed by a large serpent. Sometimes a small serpent is swallowed by a large serpent and merging, merging into the spiritual existence of the Supreme is analogous. While the small serpent is searching after perfection, he is swallowed. This is spiritual suicide. On the western side there is also an impediment in the form of a yaksha, an evil spirit who protects the treasure. This yaksha is jnana yoga, the speculative process of self-realization. The idea is that a hidden treasure can never be found by one who asks the favor of a yaksha to attain it. The result is that one will simply be killed. So while the yogi's practicing meditation is like a small serpent being swallowed by a large serpent, practicing the speculative process to attain the treasure of love of Godhead is also suicidal. The only possibility, the only possibility, then, is to search for the hidden treasure on the eastern side, where, which represents the process of devotional service in full Krishna consciousness. Indeed, the process of devotional service is itself the perpetual hidden treasure and one who attains it attains to it becomes perpetually rich one who is poor in devotional service to krishna is always in need of material gain sometimes he suffers the bites of poisonous creatures and is baffled and sometimes he follows the philosophy of monism and thereby loses his identity and is swallowed by a large serpent. It is only by abandoning all this and becoming fixed, fixed in Krishna consciousness, devotional service to the Lord, that one can actually achieve the perfection of light perfection of life, excuse me, achieve the perfection of life. Wow. Yeah. So, thank you so much for tuning in today. The link to this book is in the description. Please check out our website, shravanamdiaries.com. Tomorrow, we shall read chapter 5, How to Approach God. So, I wish you all to find your hidden treasure for the more we look for it the more we will become richer and richer right shall probably mentioned here mm -hmm. that the more it's so deep and it's so what would i will not speculate where is this which yes yes here uh, na, 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 na. yeah here it says that mm, 
devotional service, bhakti, is itself the perpetual hidden treasure, and one who attains it, attains to it, becomes perpetually rich. Jai, I like it. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Yeah, I already told that. Yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.